All right, our next installment of concrete estimating is footings. All right, thing to remember about footings. Wherever there's a wall, there's got to be a footing underneath it to help distribute the load over the surface of the, the ground, okay? So here we have a structure that's 50 by 30, and then it's got this uh, front that sticks out 15 feet, and we're going to put an 8 by 24 footing underneath the whole structure, okay? So we're going to use the same formula we used for the slab, which is length times width times the thickness, okay? And then we're going to divide, the, these are in feet, and then we're going to divide by 27 to change it to cubic yards. So, our length for this structure is 50 plus 30, 15, 15, 20, 15, 15. If you add those all together, you get 190 feet, linear feet of footings. We're going to multiply that times the width of the footing, which is 24 inches, and the thickness of the footing, which is going to be 8 inches. Now remember we can't multiply feet in inches, so we're going to, and we want these in feet, so we're going to convert these to feet by dividing by 12. Then we take the whole thing and divide by 27. Okay. Now here's one thing you need to remember. If you have a house, sometimes the footings aren't all the same size. So if you're building a house, you have to look at the footings on the, the footing and foundation plan to see if the footings are all the same size. If they're not, then you have to count the linear feet of each type of footing and you might have to do multiple calculations. But for this one, I'm only going to do one size fits all. All right. So in your calculator, um, if you're wondering what I use, I use the TI-30A. or XA, excuse me, an XA. Okay, um, so into your calculator, you're going to put 190 times 24 divided by 12 times 8 divided by 12 equals, then you're going to divide by 27 and hit equals again. Now, for this one, if you know what this is, 24 divided by 12, everybody knows you could put that down as 2. So you could nix this part. But maybe you don't know what that one is, but so you can leave it. So in your calculator, you're going to put 190 times 2 times Hit the parentheses button, left parentheses, 8 divided by 12, right parentheses, equals, divided by 27, equals 9.38 cubic yards. So the footings to go around that entire house would be 9.38 eight cubic yards. Now remember with concrete you always want to add some waste. The larger this number the more waste you usually want to add because of differences in forms, differences in so depth. More You may lose more raking it off the side when you screen it off so there's all different types of things. And it's always better to have more concrete than not enough. You don't want the concrete guys to say, you know, we got to wait an hour while the truck brings us one yard because we didn't add enough waste. So for this, uh, we'll just add 10% waste. Um, so I'm going to multiply 9.38 times 1.1. One just means 9.38, and the point one is the waste. Okay. So 9.38 times 1.1 equals 10.32 cubic 
yards. All right. So will your concrete company bring 10.32 yards? Probably not. They're going to round it. So you can either round it down to 10, you can round it up to 10 and a half if they'll do half yards, or round it up to 11, whichever one you think you can get away with. Um, so you could, whichever one works for you. Just make sure that you have enough. Okay? So that's a basic footing, one footing again. If you have multiple types of footings, then you'd have to do these calculations again, find out how long that section of footings are, how wide they are, how deep they are. Um, so you might have multiple, uh, multiple, you can use the same equation, you just have to do it multiple times with the different numbers. Okay?